The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% is one of The Ordinary's most popular skincare products in their skincare line. In this video, we share how to use this ingredient properly, including the do's and don'ts and what to avoid mixing with The Ordinary's Niacinamide. Firstly, The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% is a water-based leave-on serum, so you actually do not wash this serum off. It can be used daily or every second day depending on your skin's tolerance and is suitable for all skin types and conditions. So what is niacinamide and how does it work within the skin? Niacinamide is a superhero ingredient that strengthens our skin's barrier, the acid mantle, a protective layer of skin that is made up of a thin layer of water and oil and protects against harmful aggressors, dirt or pollution that we come into contact with throughout the day. It helps in reducing inflammation from acne or sensitivity, regulates oil flow and the skin's pH level. Niacinamide is also known for its brightening benefits and that's because it is a tyrosinase inhibitor, ensuring each cell is not holding on to too much pigment and reduces the transfer of pigment from the melanocytes to the keratinocytes in the epidermis, the top layer of the skin. Finally, niacinamide also prevents transepidermal water loss and locks in that hydration within the skin, preventing dehydration. When a skin is well hydrated, functioning correctly, this helps prevent premature aging in the skin and other skin conditions. How to use the niacinamide and zinc serum. This ordinary serum is fine to use on a daily basis or every second day. It is a water-based serum, so it needs to be applied prior to oils and creams, but after cleansing and toning. It can be applied to damp or dry skin. Apply two drops into the palm of your hands and apply to your skin. If you get a milky texture on your skin or it's causing peeling with your moisturizer, you have applied too much or you haven't given your skin time to absorb the serum prior to you moisturizing. Skin tip here, avoid having the dropper touch your skin as this can cross contaminate your serum. An example of a skincare routine with niacinamide looks like cleansing, toning, which is completely optional, followed by niacinamide, moisturizing, and if you're applying this in the morning, you'll finish with sunscreen. What to avoid mixing with the Ordinary's Niacinamide Serum? Conflicts of this serum are ascorbic acid and vitamin C derivatives. We also recommend avoid alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids with niacinamide to prevent skin irritation. Use on alternate days or in a separate skin routine. For example, niacinamide in the morning and then in the evening on one or two evenings you could use lactic acid. So just not at the same time. You also want to avoid using on broken skin as this may cause stinging. If your skin is stinging when using this product, you most likely have an impaired skin barrier caused by over exfoliation or the wrong cleanser or exfoliant for your skin. If this is you, comment below. Like any active ingredient, consistency is key and you need to give your skin time to see results. Can you dilute niacinamide? Yes, you can. The ordinary niacinamide is known to cause some breakouts for some people. To avoid this, you can add one to two drops to your moisturizer instead of applying the serum directly to your skin. When you feel your skin is used to the product, you can use it directly on the skin. We have a whole video explaining why you may be breaking out from the ordinary niacinamide that you can watch here.